Hello class. In this problem, uh, or in this video, I'm going to answer a few problems from your homework. Uh, first question says, find the value of the factorial. So if you take a look at our handy formula sheet, right, uh, the factorial symbol looks like the exclamation point uh, is essentially just saying, uh, so 6 factorial would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? Uh, let's use our calculator. And I just want to show you, you have a math feature. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Eh, that wasn't much bigger. Um, there's a math feature in the calculator, right? So if I press 6 and I press the math key, and then under probability, you see this little exclamation point. So that's 6 factorial, right? I called it an exclamation point, but it's really called the factorial key. I press enter, I get 720. But check this out. If I do 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, I still get 720, okay? So I'll write 720. Check answer. Boom. Well done. Next question. Find the value of the factorial. So again, I can do 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. I get a big number. Or I could simply just do 10 and find the factorial key and press enter. And 36288. 36288. 36288 or two zeros. Check answer. Next, next question. Now it says find the value of the permutation. So again, our formula sheet says this is six pick two. So here's the formula. So I could do uh, six factorial over six minus two factorial. Right? I could do that in my calculator. Or I could just use the permutation uh, function on my calculator. So I'll do it both ways. The first way, remember, it's 6 pick 2. So I would do 6 factorial divided by, now it says 6 minus 2, right, n minus r. The n is my 6, the r is my 2. And then it's factorial, right? N minus R factorial. So I press math. And I put the little factorial key there. And I press enter. I get 30. Now, let's try it where I use this key. 6 pick 2. So if I press 6, the math key, on the probability, you see I have this NPR. So N would be my 6. So I'll, I'll press this one. 6p2, press enter, and I still get 30, right? So this is the same thing, 6 pick 2, or 6 sick factorial over 6 minus 2 factorial. Okay, so I'm going to enter 30, press enter. Next question. It says, uh, find the value of the permutation. So let's do it. Um, again, looking at my formula sheet. I'm going to use NPR. So in this case, it's 4. And then we're going to pick 4. So I put the 4 in there. And we end up with 24. So 4 pick 4 is 24. And if you wanted to test the formula, we would do 4 factorial. Uh, where's the math key? There we go. Divided by... And then here we would do 4 minus 4, which is 0 factorial. Oh, that's interesting, right? Uh, 4 minus 4 factorial. And we press Enter. And notice how we get 24. Pretty cool, all right? I hope this helps. Um, Thank you for watching. Oh, I forgot to actually put the answer in there, just to double check. And we get the good job. All right, now, thank you for watching. Have a great day.